Alrighty, welcome back to a brand new Road to Show video. I've just made my pre-workout oats right here. Oh my God, this meal is delicious. The day is currently, focus, oh, it's not focusing, but it's the 18th of September, Monday the 18th. So that means we are four weeks and six days out from the first show, which is on the 22nd of October. It's sort of like at the point now where after every meal I eat, like no matter what, I'm still like hungry as fuck after every meal. Like I'll, I'll eat it and I'll appreciate that it tastes nice and stuff, but I'm just like, oh, I could just eat like kilos more of that. But yeah, I guess that's like sort of what I signed up for. Also, there's, there's people going through harder shit in life right now. At least I still get to eat food. Also, look at this. This is a brand new Gymshark hoodie and joggers it's got sent to my house yesterday so these are like i don't know what these are called actually basically like that company in america you guys know who they are uh pretty similar to the joggers that they make but i guess who wants to pay for the shipping all the way from america to here so there's kind of a gap in the market for these joggers and these are sick these are like the oversized of these these are so nice these are big baggy boys which i love if you like the look of this stuff, it's dropping at the end of the month. Use code Harley to save yourself some money when um, when the time comes. The weather has only just decided to stop raining now, so. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a little walk now, get some steps in. I just find it easiest if I just go out and walk like nice and early in the morning, just get it done. Usually what I like to do is just go to the shop, get a monster, cause then it's like, I feel like I have a bit of a goal in, in mind, listen to a podcast or listen to some music on the way there and the way back. And then that gets me like two and a bit K steps, which is nice. I just got back from the shop. This is the little drink of choice that we got. Coke vanilla. I don't really care what I drink or like what I get from the shop. It's just, as long as it's something and then I can sort of have the objective of going on a walk, getting a drink and then coming back. That's literally what it is. Hey, mate. Oh my head. Me head. For me fucking head. Yeah, I'm going for the Natty Pro Card on the 28th of October. So basically I'm competing in another show. Right, you're doing another That's one. That's what it is. Yeah. Competing in two shows. So the first one, the 22nd of October, which is the one that I've always been doing. Basically, I don't know. I think I'm in the team class. I just think I'm just gonna like fucking sweep the sweep the floor with the comp so i just thought let me just um, sign up for the 28th of october as well mm. a bit more competitive you can win your pro card in it natty pro card right and, um, natty pro card so yeah. the difference between well it's just, just an a different unnatural federation natural. yeah okay. so you're competing against well hopefully natties obviously there's hopefully some, natties. You know, i'm sure there'll be like one person that's just like being all sneaky with it and like yeah. taking some weird orals that are, like go under the radar that'll be me mate Leo pulls I'm, up. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up, slam some end of our. You think about like McDonald's at all? Not McDonald's, nah, fuck that shit. You think Just about like what? Cookies. Cookies. Yeah, chocolate. Oh. Cookies. I was gonna say something, but I don't want to now. Say so it. I feel like I'll make you really hungry. Say it. Domino's cookies. Wow. I like that. Oh, I'm yeah. sludgy and gooey, yeah. bruv, inside. They're like crunchy on the outside. Yeah. Gooey yeah. on the inside. <laughs> so when I say something like that, how does it feel in your brain? It just feels like, um, like an unplayable character. <laughs> that, like, just, you know he's gonna be so OP yeah. like, in the future. It's like, oh, I can't wait to play him. But I just it's can't. It's just blurred out. It's like yeah. Blacktown. Yeah, that's what it is. I forgot to even say what day it is today. We have push day today, which is pretty awesome. I think, um, what have you been doing? You, oh, you've been enjoying your shorter workouts as well. I think everyone's mm -hmm. come to that agreement. Yeah, nice, rapid workout, get it done, mm -hmm. get it done properly. I, I've just realized as well, like the other week, I do two exercises for my chest per week. So I do six sets in total for my chest per week, pretty Jesus. much. That's it, and it still grows. <laughs> <laughs> so it just shows, I literally, and I'm natty, so I feel like, I don't know. Obviously, genetics play a big part of it, but certain people will have muscle groups that you barely need to train and it will grow. Like for me, that's my chest. Like I barely need to train it as long as when I do it. Because when I do do it, it just feels so insane. Like the pump, everything, I get doms the next day, every day. It just, I just tear that shit up when I do it. Two chest exercises, two shoulder, one tricep. I reckon that will, uh, that will conclude. I think that sounds... um pretty good mate i think that sounds pretty good and then we've got some cardio at the end because leo's also cutting for his holiday as he said um 
trying to get a bit leaner because he's just scared to bulk. Pretty much, yeah. He's I'm scared. terrified. I'm a scaredy cat. I'm not scared at all. I can't wait. I'm <laughs> yeah, because eat. you stay lean, bro. I look like a fucking yeah, that's true. Like lump. Like you'll you'll blow up like a big <laughs> balloon, yeah. and I'm I'm like a water balloon, and I, I just stay like a nice vacuum sealed yeah. steak. You look like a gorilla. I look like a fucking water hog, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Big watery pig. Like a what's that fucking disgusting thing in the sea? Oh, um, a manatee. Yeah, yeah bro, I'm one of them. Just bro, like... bro, I've swum, I've swum, I've swum with them before. Have you? Yeah, they're all they, I, I don't understand because they swim around all day, so they're constantly burning calories. But I guess they don't really swim; they How just sort of they? sit. They? They're massive, and they eat cabbage, bro. We're <laughs> just feeding them like lettuce and cabbage. Like that's a like on the in the sea though. Yeah. How do they eat cabbage? I don't, in the I, don't, sea? I don't know to be fair, but that's what we were feeding. Them. Maybe that's not what they eat out in the out in the wild, but. Mm. Um, so they're like vegetarian. Yeah, they're vegans. Yeah, they don't eat ah, high crazy, calorie bro. shit, mate. They ain't eating chocolate bars. And they're fat as fuck. They're massive, bro. It's and that shows genetics is everything. Because mm. them motherfuckers, they all they they try their best, and they just have no chance. They're just they're just fucked. Yeah. Anyway, we got a uh, push day today. Uh, I like to call it chest day. Chest day gets me more gassed. I don't know why mm. calling it push day doesn't get me gash gassed, but chest day is. Pretty epic, so. Wearing the new Gymshark hoodie, raise the bar, because you got to raise that fucking bar. Raise the bar. Or you get crushed. Raise the bar. This hoodie's sick, look at the back. Oh yeah, I like that. Sick. That is cool. Yeah, fits really nice, brand new. Releasing at the end of the month. Code Harley. Okay, anyway, let's go and train. Woo, woo. I'm actually, I haven't taken pre in a long time. I'm actually feeling pretty good from it. Oh, let's go. Uh, I'll leave this in here. All right, man. I won't steal it. Goodbye. I'll leave this in. I hope you can hear me. I decided to get uh, mic'd up, just like a complete impulse decision. Or I don't even need to like, I can just talk. Yeah, I'm you just can going. just talk. I'm just talking, bro. Um, complete impulse decision that I just wanted to just mic myself up and you can listen to my grunts and shit. But the problem is these have like no battery on them. So this will be like a half, a half like cinematic montage, half, uh, raw training video. So, hey ho, you guys get a mix up. Um, let me give you a quick int introduction. We're just starting off with this like nice machine press. I don't know, I'm, s I'm just like sticking with machines at the moment. It's just like a lot easier um, on everything. You can just just push, take the chest of failure. I don't need to worry about like setting up so much, just whack some plates on there and then it's done. Um, so yeah, this is the first exercise. Beautiful fucking machine, absolutely beautiful, mate. Um, comes in nice together at the top, squeeze the biceps in towards the chest, get that nice contraction and uh, that is what you want. So here we go. All right, it's time for the top set. We've got two plates and a 10 on here. Um, I'm not sure how many reps I'll get on this. I, I can't remember what I did last time. I think, I think I might have done two plates and a five. So I'm still like, on certain machines, I'm still progress progressing. It's mainly like my free weights. My free weights just aren't progressing whatsoever. Or like, they're completely degressing. I did, um, I did shoulder press, like dumbbell shoulder press, because the machine upstairs was broken the other day and oh my god bro I was doing like the 20 kg dumbbells and I got like 12 reps like it was so Damn. bad I was like what is going on um, so yeah free weights aren't good but like certain machines like this I'm still progressing pretty nicely so yeah we'll see how many reps we get probably like hopefully 10 to 12 <laughs> Come on. 
Push. Ugh. Fuck. Ooh. Oh my. All right, we're on the final set now. Um, I just dropped down to two plates and just like really focusing on that squeeze and that stretch, mate. Um, I'm gonna have uh, Leo help me on the spot, especially with this machine. It's really easy at the bottom, but really hard at the top. So if you have like a little spotter just to help you on the top, it makes it a lot, a lot better, so. Uh, one more, big spot, big spot. Push. Ah. Uh, uh. Fuck. Jesus Christ. That was a six there. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh. Yeah, I feel like it's really easy to, um, when you have a spotter, just to, when you get to that last right when you're really struggling, just like sort of let them do the work. But if you like really push as hard as possible yeah. with the help, like that, that fucks you up like crazy. But that last rep was absurd. So yeah, make sure you don't lack just because you've got a spotter. That's my, that's my advice of the day. That's all you're getting because I don't have much going on up here. <laughs> So we've just chosen this shoulder machine. It's like a, it's literally my favorite, one of my favorite machines in the gym for sure. It actually, I actually feel it in my shoulders rather than like my chest taking over. It's like a, it's just got like a nice, a nice path. Basically, I don't know if you guys know, but on TikTok, you can there's a thing called the TikTok. What's it called? Creativity. Creator. Something like that. So basically, you can earn lots of money on TikTok now from views. Like they literally pay you like in some cases like one pound per thousand people. If you get a video with a, with a million views, then you're making 1K. So come up with this master plan <laughs> to find all of our old one minute long videos. Cause they're basically in order to get, in order for your video to qualify, you have to have, it needs to be like over a minute and one second long. We're finding our old one minute and one second long videos, changing them a little bit. So I've got this like shoulder and arm workout that I'm about to pose. I'm probably gonna get rinsed for it. Cause it's like just not, I, I don't agree with the workout. <laughs> but what I do agree with is the cash that yeah, What I do agree with is fucking one pound per a thousand views, G. That's what I do fucking agree with. Yeah, that's basically what we uh, got focused on a little bit. So we've got a bit uh, caught up in trying to make bread rather than working out. So the pump is uh, non-existent right now, but that's okay. The pump that this is going to give me in my penis is going to be much bigger than the pump that I'm going to get in my shoulders from that. So. Callum, do you mind spotting me on the back? It's yeah. like pressing it down right. too. <clears throat> Uh. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> it's Fuad. Fuad Abiyad. It's you, mate. Who's that? It's you on the wall. There. Oh, yeah, that's me. Nice to have there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Cheers, mate. Right, we've got the mics up and running again. Um, Look at that bicep vein. What's it's that just that, that's arm? just that resting worm. That's the resting worm right there. We're onto some lateral raises now, just like standing, normal, plain, simple lateral raises. Um, I'm just gonna use the 12 and a half kilo. This is another exercise, exercise where my strength hasn't really gone down. It's like, if anything, I'm like controlling the weight better. I don't know, I think it's, I think it's cause I'm just taking training a bit more seriously. Like I actually really try and control the weight. So uh, yeah.
Am I, am I looking nice and... Shredded? No, I feel like I'm looking... Oh no, I've, I've looked better than this on the prep, but... I oh know, I'm just a bit look, flatter, that's Yeah, all. you look a little bit flatter. Yeah, that's what Yeah. Hey ho, we're chilling. Yeah. I'm still happy. I just finished up in the gym. Oof. That got like tough at the end because me and Leo just took really long. So I haven't eaten food in like five hours, which my coach is not gonna be very happy about, but bro doesn't need to know about that. Just this one time, doesn't need to know. I'll be able to get all my meals in fine. And actually to be fair, it will be kind of good. There's Leo. Um, it'll be kind of good because I'll be able to just eat my meals like back to back and then I'll go to bed. So I shouldn't feel too hungry this evening. But yeah, right now, super flat. The end of that session was awful because I just couldn't get a pump. Like I just felt super flat and depleted. That's how it is. And and like, also I'm documenting this and like, I I feel like I need to be like energetic talking to the camera and stuff. But this is, this is like what it's meant to be like. This is my bodybuilding prep. I'm documenting it. It's cool. It's a process and things will get better. It's like, yeah, we're chilling. My energy's up and down, my mood's up and down. This is all part of it, so yeah. Um, anyway, gonna get back home, eat my post-workout Frosties, epic, absolutely legendary stuff right there. Oh yeah, another thing, I didn't end up doing cardio today, which is fine because the past three days I've done cardio when I wasn't even meant to be doing them on one of the days, so yeah, I'm fine not doing my cardio today because I'm meant to be doing it five days a week, so I can still make up for it, absolutely no worries. So yeah, let's get home. Yo, all right, we've been back from the gym for about an hour. Um, I had to just come in and like eat my pre-work, my pre-workout, my post-workout meal straight away because I was just absolutely starving. That's what I've noticed as well. Like I'm okay when I'm just like by myself, like in my own zone. I find it much more difficult like dealing with other people, like talking to people at the moment. I'm just like, sh I'm like struggling a lot more. I've never been a great communicator anyway. Always been something I've had to work on. Now that I don't have like food in my system and my cognitive function is just not quite there. Like I really just struggle with talking to people. Yeah, I'm just sitting here um, editing. I'm about to start editing a full day of eating for my TikTok. Because the last full day of eating I posted, it was a uh, refeed day. So this is gonna be my like actual what I eat normally. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, so. Also watching some Jinxy, also known as procrastinating from doing the thing that I'm meant to be doing, which is editing. But, um, Jinxy, this guy, if you guys play Rainbow Six Siege, you would know who Jinxy is. He's such an entertaining human being. So, I do be enjoying watching my Jinxy at the moment. All right, yo, right here, I've just got literally just peas these are some jumbo peas i can't lie they're massive i just i just ate my last meal which was just my chicken and then obviously the peas to go with that thought i would record me eating some of these peas basically obviously if you remember in the last video my coach gave me my feed feedback video i had my refeed days after that so i went from my lowest weigh-in which was 166.8 8, i think it was 166.8 pounds and then he fed me up and i went up to 170.8 i can't lie i was pretty scared when i got up to that i was like whoa this is too heavy but he was happy and as long as he's like it's fine like we're chilling then i i feel good because i can get pretty stressed out pretty easily and i feel like i'm like off track or whatever so now i've just been back down to just like dieting just straight what i've been eating the whole time pretty much so i reckon we're not gonna get any more refeed days until my peak week now, just to finally get into like staged lean condition, I reckon um, he'll just dig me pretty much now. Four weeks and six days out from my first show, which is on the 22nd. I spoke about this earlier as well. I'm also competing on the 28th, 
which is it's a two bros two pros show which is basically like a uh, more important show there's going to be like better competitors there i'm competing in a better class like people are going to be older so <clears throat> that's going to be a lot more difficult but that's sort of what i wanted i'm going to i'm going to lock in for that one so the first one that i'm going to do is going to be just me my family my friends like we're all just sort of going to have a bit of fun and then the second one on the 28th i'm really going to go for it it's going to be me i might just get a cameraman for it as well just like make the make the vlog like really sick and cinematic. One show day vlog, which will be more just like good vibes. And then the next one will just be like on my grind type shit. So then you get the best of both worlds pretty much. So yeah, that's pretty much what has changed and what is going on. We're getting very close to the show now. It's um, it's really, it's becoming real. I need to get my posing trunks. But yeah, I'm just gonna eat these peas. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Obviously I just ate the chicken and I'm gonna go out on a walk help it digest, but mainly just to get my steps in. So go on a walk and get the rest of my steps in for the day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, I'd really appreciate that. I'd appreciate if you sign into your YouTube and subscribe, comment, like, just do all of this for the, for the algorithm to help me out. I'd really appreciate that. See you in the next video.